welcome back to my channel. I am Cynthia Kensington and I'm a mind and body coach. Today I'm going to take you guys through a full body Pilates, very much beginner friendly. So if you're ready, come along with me. We are going to go to the front of our mat and we're just going to roll down nice and gently, sit on your bottom and hand comes up in front of you like so. Hand align with your shoulders, inhale and exhale, imprint the spine down nice and slow hands come to the sides slide your heels in inhale and exhale lift up and take it down and push into the ground and lift down i'm just going to adjust my heels lift in and lift up and down as you're lifting, you're reaching your hands away from you. You want your shoulder blades to be nice and stuck to the ground. Okay, so you are not lifting the shoulders or you're not lifting the heels. You're just lifting the bum off your mat and push and down. Give me one more. Okay, let's do one last one. Hold at the top. Lift your hands up to the ceiling, palms facing each other, take it over and bring it forward. Ooh, my hand hit that. Over, don't drop the bum and bring it forward. And work with your space and bring it forward and over and up. Take it over your head and up keep squeezing your glutes pushing the heels into the ground and up give me two more and last one and up place the bum down hand goes to the sides of the body slide the right leg out slide the left leg out hand goes over as well just Hold on to your right wrist or your left wrist. Go from side to side here for me. We're still doing this like a little warm up. And over. Okay. Hand comes to the sides of the body. Slide the right heel in, slide the left. So both of, uh, both of your knees at uh, tabletop. Drop both knees to the left side. If you want to take it down slightly, take it down. And then bring it back up drop it to the right side again work with your space and you're just going for a nice spine twist here drop and if you have the space what you can do here is bring your hands out into a t position that also helps you stabilize the upper part of your body and the lower part of your body is just what's doing the work but of course as you can see my space is limited so I'd rather have my hands to the side, but I think I can have one and a T position. So I do it like so, maybe out of shot. You guys get my point. And let's do one more. And then bring it back to center. Slide the left leg and place it down. Hug the right knee to chest like so. Feel free to lift your head up if you want and take it down. Lift it up and down and lift and down. What you want to achieve here is you want that left leg pointing away. So we're strengthening and you're lengthening the body, that side of the body anyway. And lift up and you're also working your core, your powerhouse. And lift down. Elbows wide and lift down give me two more and last one lift up take it down swap the leg left leg pull that leg first so you get a nice stretch in that side of the body lift up and down lift up and down these both your hands you're pushing them into your knee to help you lift up down and lift 
down. And down. Give me three more. Two more. Point that right toe. Last one. Lift and take it down. Hug both knees to chest here for me. Go from side to side. Look to your right shoulder. Look to your left shoulder. Just releasing any tension in the back of your neck. This class is very slow and deliberate and just letting you work with what you've got, okay? Place your right leg down, place your left leg down. Straighten both legs out here for me. Hand goes overhead, palms are facing each other. You're going to inhale, lift your head and chest off the ground, hands to the side. Hold on to your thighs if you wish, but release as you come up to a seated position you reach away, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale and exhale, imprint the spine down. Lower back touches the ground, float your hands overhead like so. Okay, let's go together. If you don't wanna hold on to your thighs, it's absolutely fine. Challenge your powerhouse as you lift up, away. Take it down for me. Gaze looking forward, over, and reach. And it's just as challenging for me too as well. But work with what you um, what you've got today. Take it down and over. Last one. Lift up. and take it down okay from there you're going to turn onto your stomach we're just going to turn like so a very flattering way to do it <laughs> where you guys get the point okay i'm going to scoop myself down you're keeping your gaze looking down your shoulders are away from your ears what you're going to do here for me is point both toes as much as you can so you're lengthening the back of your lower back right here. And it's nice and slow, you're gonna bring up alternative hand, alternative leg, and swimming. This is like a swimming prep. And lift up, and down, and lift. Not too high here, okay? You just wanna lift, gaze downwards, and and, and lift, squeeze the glutes as you're lifting. Lift, a nice and gentle way to wake the body. But still feel like you've done some Pilates, right? And lift. One more on each side. Last one, lift, take it down. Okay, bring your hands into a W shape. Gaze still looking downwards here. Push and lift up. Take it down and lift up and down. I'm gonna up and lift up, down and again. down. If for whatever reason you can only come up here, that's also fine. Okay? Maybe today that's where you feel like going. And that's okay. Eventually, you'll be able to push up and take it down. As you're pushing up, squeezing your glutes. You guys should know me by now. <laughs> Squeeze the glutes for dear life. And lift. One more, and lift, hold, hold. Here we're stretching the, the front bit of our abdominals, okay? Your lower part of your body should not lift off the ground, it should stay there. Just keep pushing your palms down into the ground. Take it down for me, tuck both toes under, 
melt your bottom to your heels, okay? Go from side to side. Okay, coming up onto all fours for me, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, pull your abdominals in, big inhale, and exhale. Stay here for now, inhale, exhale. Okay, inhale, pull the chest in, push the ground away from you. Exhale, travel to center, push the breastbone forward, stick the bottom back. Let's go again, we travel to center, pull the chest in, push, push, push the ground away from you. And again, travel to center, push forward, bottom goes back. Let's do two more. Bring it in, push, and travel forward, bottom, chest okay let's go last one in okay let's go again pull the chest in and just hold it here and release the center tuck both toes under and go back onto your stomach right from there you are going to turn back on well laying on your back right here okay right leg comes to tabletop again left leg comes to tabletop squeeze both legs together head and chest is lifted off the ground both hand goes onto both knees you are going to inhale and as you exhale reach the leg forward hand goes overhead like so then bring it back in and reach and in nice and slow recruit all the muscles you need to help you stay in alignment here and bring it back in gaze looking forward and reach and back and again nice and slow and bring it back Let's go again. And in. One more. Take it out for me. And bring it in. Hug the knees to chest. Place the head and chest down. Catch your breath. We're going to go for something quite similar, not the exact ex exercise. Okay. You're going to lift your head and chest off the ground again. Straighten the right, left leg, sorry, out. Both hand goes onto your right knee here. Inhale. And as you exhale, you switch and reach that right leg away and switch. Everything is all coming together. We did something similar in the first half of the class where we we're lifting, right? But this time around, we have the head off the ground and we're just working the legs, okay? and reach, and again, and, and reach. Get looking forward, and again, and point, lengthen, and again. One more here, and hug knees to chest, place the head and chest down for me. Look to the left shoulder, Look to the right shoulder. Go from side to side here. Just catch your breath. Okay. Place your right leg down, place your left leg down. I'm gonna swoop down with my mat here. Head goes down, hand goes over, head. Palms facing the ceiling, inhale. And as you exhale, you lift. Keep the head and chest up. Float your hands. Once your hand goes past your ears, you take the head and chest down. Let's go together. Again.
Again, let's go. Over. Let's go. Lift and pause for me, okay? From there, you're going to pulse the hands. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Draw your stomach in. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Pulse those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. If you find that your head is quite heavy for you to carry, you place your hands, but keep pulsing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. See, I modified it, <laughs> four, five. Inhale, pull, 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 and exhale, pull, pull, pull. Let's go, and inhale. And exhale, you should feel the top bit of your abdominals. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Float the hands back, place the head in chest. Reach your hands away from you and you should feel a nice stretch. You can rise the chest up and down. Uh, this class was, I would say, a little bit spicy just at the end, but not too much. Where you feel like, oh, I can't do it, which is what I've been getting from you guys lately. So I am listening <laughs> and making it a little bit more modified. Okay. Lift the chest up. Fill all the lungs up with air. And as you exhale, you pull it down. Squeeze all the air out. Let's go, inhale, and exhale. Float the hands to the sides of the body, curl the pelvis up, and you should feel a nice stretch again in the midsection. You wanna reach the knees away from you and lift up as much as you can. Squeeze here. Check in with your body and tell your body, thanks for seeing me through this class, able to wake my body up, able to just get along with my day, feeling that I've done some Pilates. <laughs> All right, take the bum down, elbows touching the ground, push yourself up into a seated position, and voila, we're done. <laughs> Thank you very much guys for joining my class today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and remember that you have to keep the exercises going in order to see the dynamics of your body change. Whatever you choose to do today, have the most amazing day. I'll see you guys on the mat soon.